Through productive work, they are seeing us pursuing our education here at the university in areas that are going to benefit our own lives, but then also make an impact on the community around us. In light and living, I think that's more of our perspective because I think it, you know, through making them smile, making them happy, it also makes us happy. In community involvement, we're in the school working with these kids in our community. I feel like these kids need like role models and someone to look up to. The planning process for this project was very long. Um, the whole first semester was pretty much planning what we're going to do. Well, we had a bunch of groups pick what they wanted to do, like a topic, and how they were going to implement their idea. We took, we voted on the two best projects we thought from uh, the discussions that we had and from the speeches that we gave, and we kind of combined the two to involve a scavenger hunt along with a healthy lifestyle activity. Um, after we did that, then we had to go with what days are we going to go, how long are we going to go, what kids are we going to focus on, and actually really get down to the specifics of this project. Um, and then when we came back in the spring semester, then we really all got together and we, we planned it out and we all went and we really had a good time. Our project will start something that matters by mentoring the kids with a sense of teamwork and working together to reach an ultimate goal. The students are really looking up to the UC students and seeing all the possibilities and dreams that they can have. I think that's a sense of not necessarily, hey, I need help, but hey, I'm, I'm open to you because I, I want someone to look up to and I know you're here to help. We can make a difference, even in small ways. <laughs> When I went there, it was, they were excited. They were like, hey, are you going to do an activity with us? Or are you going to hang out with us? Well, we had them do relay races because it shows teamwork and um, it got them up and like happy cheering on each other. And, and it just showed how we made a difference in their life by just by showing up and then having fun with them because not all things are, have to be serious. I think any time that, that you help someone I think that uh, that has an impact on us. Our goal for these kids was to be a role model. We wanted to make a difference in their lives because we wanted to. They, we wanted them to look up to us. And we set up scavenger hunts for them, and what it was is they would find different things in the building, and they would have clues along different stations. But while they were pursuing the clues, they would pick up a bottle of dye, and then at the end, we took them all back to the classroom and we sat around tie-dyeing bandanas and t-shirts. Last year I was in my students' shoes, and now I'm a peer educator. I know what it feels like to work with a group of students and see them grow and develop as people and, and guiding them in the right direction, and seeing their faces every time you walk into a building. It's rewarding from both angles, but this time I get to see two groups of students feel that reward, and I know that we're here and we're doing something right. At the Roosevelt Center, I worked with a girl, and we wrote down what we were most proud of. And it was really cool to see that she was proud of her grades. 
I think that is really awesome that she thinks grades are important at her age. One of the questions was um, list three people who you look up to or who are your role models. And Calmer ended up putting down my name. It was really meaningful to me because it showed that like I had impacted her in some way. All of them were smiling because I was a terrible egg racer, obviously. I dropped the egg like seven times in the matter of two seconds. And uh, they were just really happy that I was there to be on their team. When I went, I brought some goodie bags with me. Um, and when I gave it to them, they were so excited. Like their faces just lit up with excitement. Like they just were so happy that I brought them something. You can be a track star, you can go and be, you can win first place in the science fair, but sometimes people need somebody to be there for them, and that's the big thing. That's, that's what people really need, and that's what makes a character out of somebody. I'm, I'm hoping that the, the students at the Roosevelt Center will remember this as, as a pleasurable, memorable experience, and something that they're, they're going to look forward to like what's going to happen next year. Teaching them things will uh, help us in the sense of we are actually helping these kids. And we're there to motivate them and make them realize what they can be proud of and what they can achieve. I feel like what I am mostly proud of is the big impact that we made in their life. But we showed them what small things can do to make a big difference. Like, we don't have to do 10 things to make a difference. We can do one thing and put a smile on 10 kids' face. Just in the hour that we had been there, we had already been. We were important to them. I think overall it was a really great success. That was good, man. I love, I love the mission. I love the mission. I love the mission. I love the mission. We are Section 7, and we love the mission!